Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of a Let's Play series of Fallout 4. Here you'll see that I am uh, in the Red Rocket settlement. That I in my last video, I just uh, managed to put uh, to get my first set of settlers uh, live in here. I think I sent them here uh, from a rescue, and I've established a kind of a minimum needed for them to get by. I don't have a whole lot of resources yet. Like I, it looks like I could build 17 track walls now if I wanted to, or it's a little bit weird that some of the more useful uh, metal walls are a good way to them, but I could only build six of these. So I'm going to hold off on actually doing the more uh, involved improvements in this area until I have more resources, which basically uh, means I'm going to adventure a good bit more. But things are coming along pretty well. And we're talking about resources. We're talking about this. And that a lot of your resources in the game can come from just scrapping stuff. I think I might have... There we go. Put the display on. Now one of the things you'll notice in Fallout 4 is that you often end up having encounters that come from the same places. I believe that there's one just a little bit over the hill. In this case it's just wild animals, but occasionally you get raiders coming from over there. Oh yeah, one of the things about rad stags is that if you get too close they get aggressive. <clears throat> also in uh, previous videos, you'll remember that one of my goals was to get over to Good Neighbor, which I did, but it was a very rough slog. At this point, I think we're mostly going to be interested in filling out our existing knowledge and just doing some general quests. Mystic Pines would probably be a good place to loot if I haven't done it already. <clears throat> One of the downsides of playing this not continually is that I my memory of what I did in past uh, past games is not perfect. Nothing dangerous looking nearby. Let's pop in. Basically, we're just here to grab everything that we can. Now, this would not be a particularly useful strategy um, beyond the first few years. I think of a, of a post-apocalyptic post world unless an area were completely desettled and you were just starting to see like humans returning to the area. Because you would kind of expect people to do all the looting that's possible or at least all the looting that's easy in the first few years. And that doesn't really leave... Uh, that wouldn't leave... Uh, there uh, wouldn't leave a lot of utility. I don't think I can pick this in doing this continually, but we just kind of accept the Fallout world. This also shows uh, how useful it is to get lock picking pretty early in your, uh, your adventures, because otherwise you're either going to miss out on stuff or you're going to have to come back, and when you come back you'll have already gotten all the easy stuff, which kind of connects to what I was saying about looting. Anyhow, I think that's all that we can easily get. I can't pick locks yet, so I wasn't able to open that door. It does look like there is another settlement ahead. Across the river. Oh, I think I remember what that settlement is. But we're going to keep up with our grabbing everything possible along the way. I guess that's just about everything possible. Now we don't yet have the skill that makes swimming. Don't scare harmless. the fish, asshole. Hey there. Go find your own fishing spot. Clear out. You don't look like you're actually fishing. Oh well. So in we go, and we're gonna get some radiation from this. Uh, I have a lot of radiation, so let's. Looks like actually jumping out of the water, as silly as it is that people should even uh, try to do that, doesn't save you from the rats. 
Okay, so Covenant is another area that we're just going to swing by, but not explore for now. Because we have other things to do. And Covenant's has some kind of interesting quest-related content. But we're not really in a, in a, at a point yet where it would be uh, super useful to explore that content. Oh, uh, Cotsworth has found some bows. Okay. Yeah, these would be absolutely terrifying to see, I think, in real life. Like, gigantic mosquitoes. Very popular party. Fortunately, if you're good at dodging, then at least these low-level ones are not too bad. Right, so where were we going? We were heading this way. <laughs> yep, we're just continuing to expand our repertoire of places that we can fast travel to, which would make very little sense in a game, in a, in a version of Fallout that Rubbish. You would imagine without fast travel, but it's kind of fun actually. Uh, just playing Fallout as a scavenging game. If you're out having adventures, grabbing stuff. That's not. No, it's not. For a moment, I confused that with um, Sanctuary Hills. But it's pretty clearly not. Uh, this is a bridge with some mines on it. Looks like that's another settlement. A lot of these places look like they would make a pretty great settlements. But the game is very particular with where it will allow you to go. Let's make sure I don't screw this up somehow. To jump in, grab it. Or if I can't grab it, I need to I need to slip off before it turns into a problem. Uh, that. Grab it. There is the next fragmine. Fragmines are really pretty incredibly useful. I'm gonna save just in case I manage to screw this up. Okay. Anything else? Do not see it. Fire. Cool. Made it through. Without getting blown up. There's Stingwing ahead. The nice thing about that is that if um, if you see the game as being like a, a series of decisions that you can make. This is all much more exciting. Come out and then there's an incredibly huge difference between like blundering in and getting killed in a, uh, or I mean and having the explosions happen which will take a pretty good chunk of health there's somebody named Simon over there I don't really remember this let's go see what they're, they're up to Better not be here to waste our time. I won't be any trouble. Better not be. Stash takes care of a lot of people, including me. We'd be on you like rads. You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I right? Let's see what you got. Exactly what you need. Okay. So it looks like this is just one of the traveling uh, uh, vendors. Which is fine, I think. So we can sell some junk, which I think I was initially probably planning on uh, planning on doing uh, decomposing. What is the right word? Uh, disassembling those and using them to enhance uh, uh, more of my armor, but. I think selling 
Does that make sense? I should drop off my Nuka Cola in a settlement every time I do that because keeping your uh, keeping the stuff that you're carrying around sensible is uh, a really important part of the game. Anyhow. Okay, so we sold some stuff. There are some map markers over there. But I'm hearing some gunfire. And so long as we can manage not to get involved, maybe we can uh, maybe we can pick, pick up some of the bodies. Or pick up some of the stuff from the bodies. Okay. There's art and some raiders. Okay, we're gonna save just in case judged any of this. Let's make this quick, shall we? Did not expect to screw that up quite so badly. Dead looks like, and here is art. <clears throat> Look, I'm I'm not that interested in chatting right now. Okay, well, I will just grab what I want and move on. It's probably the the right set of things to take. So I think. If I remember correctly, uh, the way that that normally goes down is that art is uh, part of a scripted event that is supposed to go fairly differently. So I've reduced some of my radiation. It's going to heal up, I think, because I think I'm going to dare it and actually head inside this place. it's a little bit dangerous, so I don't want to be uh, doing it with half my maximum health. Oh, uh, music to my ears. So somebody else fighting. Uh, my needs to uh, waste ammo or health. Maybe it's not somebody else fighting. Though. Two raiders that are hiding out from what sounds like a possibly malfunctioning Well oh, there is a raider hiding there, but maybe we can but we have Molotovs. This is definitely taking a, a fairly dangerous fight, but ooh, here. You're not there. You're not there. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to come out of this one okay. but we'll do our best. Huh. Huh. We're almost at full health, and I think in this game, being crippled only lasts for a little bit, which is a nice little break from reality. Should heal right up in a little bit. Yeah, we're all healed up, and we can carefully scoot forward. I'm 
like it's doing that again. Okay. I have to replace uh, at least one of our Molotovs. No way I'm cracking this. But again, we're suffering from... In Fallout, you, you have two different equivalents that? to hacking. I mean, two different ways you can be locked out. You can be locked out by a computer, or you can be locked out by, um, by not, uh, or by, uh, by a, uh, a literal lockpick. And it doesn't really matter which is which, because either way you're going to be locked out. So it's kind of important that you get those uh, skills when you can. Fortunately, that guy didn't see me. Not the most observant of fellows. Oh, except now he's probably heard me. And probably it's my show on it too. Works very nicely if I start a fight and Papa is going to do this for me. guy is currently a much, much tougher than I am. So I'm going to back off a little bit because I think he's managed to knock top force out. And I think he's following me. So this is at least wonderfully lively. He manages to if they come through there, then I'm probably pretty set. Oh, there they are. My arm. Okay, let's see if I can manage to survive this. And I'm dead yet, but still haven't made it. Sweet. Got him. Ah, that was kind of surprising. I did not expect to survive that. Okay, so we can't do gun nut yet, which is kind of important. Uh, hacker might be um, or locksmith. But being able to make better armor would also be kind of a game changer. I think we're maybe going to go with that. And we're going to save the game. I think just in general, whenever I gain a level, I'm going to uh, save the game. I would like that guy probably had, yeah, some good armor. Sit back down and see how Gip Cutsworth is back in action, which is great. But surprisingly, this time I managed to do that mostly without him. Yeah. It's not how you use the restroom. adhesive. You, you need to keep collecting adhesive uh, in the game if you want to be able to make useful stuff. I think that, that this item is quest relevant. This Eddie Winter probably. Esteemed Mr. Strelnikov, I know someone of your profession values discretion above all else. But I have to honestly say, screw that. Now, a metal bucket here 
If it were not centuries old, it would probably be pretty nasty. Nobody sane would really possibly want to pick that up. But, uh, fortunately, I imagine just after that length of time, it's probably gone mostly sterile. Black glove. Oh, yeah, shouldn't have even tried that. Yellow PE, Got maybe. It. Okay. Anyhow. Ooh, there is another well. We see him and he doesn't see us, although he slipped away. I'm assuming it's a he. Might not be a he. Reels? Uh-huh. Every last one. About time someone wiped those bastards out. I hear you. And now we gotta make sure we meet next. Just stay alert. This is just another angle on where we were earlier. Mom, do be careful. I wouldn't want either of us to encounter what may have caused this mess. Ah, and that is the uh, thing that was shooting at them. That they were having trouble uh, getting disarmed at that time. So the game likes to reward you with goodies in, uh, in these uh, hunts. Save up! Finders, keepers! Ooh, Gather the little wall and we can carry I'm probably gonna have to ask Cotsworth to... Oh, I probably have forgotten to, uh... to unload Cotsworth after the last adventure. I'm hoping this doesn't mean that I need to dump a lot of stuff. It might. No way I could pick this. Okay, some more stim packs. That is good. And... Many new makes sense if there's a Batman in here. Batmans are portable nukes, which apparently exist in real life. Although... Oh, fudge. Okay, he actually is... full of stuff. I'm gonna see if I can do a trick. And then I think... Even though his capacity is clear, or, I mean his capacity is full, he is still capable of going over the limit if you drop stuff and then tell him to pick it up. It's probably a little bit of a douche move, but this should take me under my limit, I think. Hey, I'm all in. Get that. Bring that here. Grab that. Sweet. Okay, we're, we're back under capacity. And we can continue exploring this place. Huh? Oop, there we go. Decent job at not getting targeted too much. I think somehow that the sounds involved in doing it make it a lot more uh, enjoyable. Sweet. Oh, is that no? Okay. Always have to be careful for. Disappear. Nice. Hey, this is exactly the time to have the go. computer. Yeah. 
where it's my oh, I've heard of heard somebody. He's doing housework. It's just a stereotype that cops uh, smoke a lot. Always get so jumpy after a fight. Suppose it might uh, might just be a class thing. And that a lot of cops, I think, come from working class backgrounds. Yes. Why would he lock the bathroom like that? Oh, anyhow. Actually, I think there was a weapons bench over here, and I'm going to go lighten my load by deconstructing some uh, stuff. Okay, this pistol is better than my existing pistol, so I mean, hopefully we're good. Yeah, we're good. Probably bugged out already. What's all this thing? Hey, Cosworth, go finish him off. <laughs> Everyone's still alive. Oh, I did not do enough damage to get a share of the experience. Oh well. Again, leads us out back out into the central area. Don't know if I've ever. I didn't spot this door before. Got it. Okay, no booby traps, but I cannot unlock that safe. And we're over the limit again. I think. No, we're not. Okay, I misread. Cannot hop that. Let's see. I think there are probably some more bows down. Who is that? Is that? Oh no, we were down here before. Okay. Well, shucks. I think we're missing something then. I really was pretty sure that there was another room down here. We are not made managing to find it, but it's not super important either. I think having this place on the map is probably the, by far the more important thing. So that in that uh, later quest, we will be ready to uh, just pop. It. Oh no, that that was the the key to this area. This is the. No, maybe not. So that's down there, down there, down there, in there. Okay, maybe we do have everything uh, from here. So let's head back out. We're definitely kind of full on the uh, stuff we can carry front. But I had forgotten that Codsworth hadn't been emptied. So we're going to head back up to Red Rocket and drop off some stuff. I think it might make sense for me to just show a very rough sketch of what it looks like to um, of what it looks like to start to build a settlement because it can take a long time and it's probably not all that uh, interesting. So I might do that between episodes, like return to a settlement and then do kind of a before and after thing. Definitely not bringing that Batman with us. Or the minigun. 
and we have quite a lot of things that we don't really need. It's nice to kind of sort these things by, uh, she did not need to do that. Sort these things by the ammo that they use. Um, the 44 uh, ammo is quite rare, particularly in the early game. Uh, armor will bench in here, but maybe I'm, I'm, I might have just moved it from elsewhere in past games. Yeah, I think that's that's true. We're still gonna roast some stuff if we have anything that we can roast. Since that gives you a little bit of experience. See if that. Um... Okay, so taking we don't have enough leather to do anything else. Okay, well, it's kind of the way it goes. I'm not just going to sell these because later on in the game when I'm ready to start paying more attention to settlements, I might actually put my settle, uh, settlers into them. Okay, Nuka-Cola is one of those things where you don't want to carry too much of it around because it's pretty heavy. Same thing with uh, alcohols. So you always kind of want to dr uh, drop all that stuff off whenever you uh, come home. Okay, there we go. We are ready to head back out again. We will have to, uh, or we will want to improve things for the uh, people here, but we're not ready to do that yet. For Sunshine Tidings, I think in order to use this, uh, to have this area as a settlement, you just have to um, clear it and then activate the uh, activate the bench. There's no people here by default, but that's okay. Actually, maybe it's ready. Okay, no, it's not. So I. What's that? No. Already. Oop. Okay, I don't know how much, how many foes there are here. This seems like it wasn't actually a place that people lived in the past. It just might have been like a vacation getaway kind of place, which is fine. Okay, already got that cool. That that ghoul is not so light because withered ghouls, I think, are much tougher. And I probably would not be ready to face them yet. Pop up and visit here. did try and settle here uh, before, though. They were not particularly successful. There we go. Oh, that's kind of useful. Getting more meat from uh, animal kills. 
because some of them are hard to kill. And also, later on in the game, you're probably going to want to get a whole bunch of cats for your uh, settlements. Because they raise happiness, and they don't uh, count against the population limit. And also, they're cats. Let's see. Good. We might just need to clear this one and give it that there's a door. No. A locked door, and I don't see any any ghouls inside it. So let's see. Yes. Just a rad roach. Which it's bizarre that like that locked door would mean that this this place hasn't been looted because these are not particularly thick looking walls. Somebody really probably could climb through these without a lot of uh, difficulty. Is this like the medical center for the uh, for the getaway? I think so. Okay, well, we're just going to pop through here. It looks to me like we've probably cleared the area, so we should go try the uh, Go try the settlement bench, but you can kind of imagine what this would look like before the um, before the war. You can, you can imagine having a cabin and coming into the central area to enjoy some nice meals. You probably market it as being some kind of a pseudo authentic Western uh, like ranch experience or something. Anyhow, so we were able to do it. Gonna drop off all the stuff here, because at least until I have uh, supply chains between my settlements, on the off chance that I do want to, uh, on the off chance that I do want to want to send people to them early, it would be nice to actually have the materials to build something there, even if it wouldn't be something particularly impressive. Uh, this is the home of a raider. place on the map. Maybe I can loot some stuff out of it too. Let's see what we've got. Where is the entrance to this place? Here it is. Like raiders have been here. And some weird fungus that's growing on the walls. For some reason you can collect this fungus. Oh, that's right. This is the exit to the federal ration stockpile. That's a fairly dangerous area. But I think it could be entertaining at least to try and uh, make my way in there. Very careful and gradual with this. This is the right way. Oh, there's a turret. Okay, so my guess is that, and my dim memory is that there are probably some foes uh, here that will follow me. I'm going to leave a few traps for them, and then I'm going to go after them. And then I'm 
gonna take a shot at that turret. Um, something to fall. Okay. Now I'm gonna back off and I'll imagine that they're gonna chase me and they'll hit those uh prizes I left for. Probably. Let's see. Let them do the rest. I yep, just one of them. I was kind of expecting them to be a little clever, or at least a little bit more aggressive, but maybe not. You get me paranoid. There ain't nothing here. shot in the head, so my vision's just blurred, but let's fix that up. Get our weapons a little bit. Did that do it? It might have. That's, you have the fortune of having some directionality. Who's out there? there is somebody straight ahead. I'm not sure if they're, if they're mobile or not. Let's assume not. We're going to creep ahead a little bit. Oh, I think that was a boss. So yeah, I think we made it. Uh, we slipped in the back door to this raider settlement. I still want to keep a good eye on how we will retreat if we, uh, yes. if we need to. Some correspondence, which, if I remember correctly, because I've, I've been here several times before, I'm going to take a quick nap to heal up. Um, I believe that that's a series of correspondences between a one, uh, between a sister and somebody she believes is his, her sister, but isn't really. It's a raider gang uh, faking uh, to be her. There we go. And extorting money based on that. Okay, so if there's some foe really nearby that hurt me. Notice that there were some biometric <clears throat> scanners and what we're picking up here. What this presumably means is that in the post-apocalyptic world, uh, identity implants are probably pretty common, and they are used by machines to identify uh, people. 
maybe they were common in the pre uh, pre war world as well. I'm guessing so. a little gift and then the next time I see a person that's worth you not stand right in front of me. Okay. So maybe let's move a little bit. coming at us that was a sign of that. Oh, it's got worth ruining my trap. Maybe not. You're now very near my trap. There you go. Now in uh, earlier version to pull out. Won't be able to pick this. This would not be so much of a winning strategy because you would damage or destroy. Or no sign of them now. Okay, so we do have foes around here somewhere still. Probably in there. Yeah. Sometimes this takes bizarrely long. It actually stops the game from, uh, you can't do anything while you wait for that. I really need that, but why not? It's red paint. There is a point later on in the game when paint is actually pretty useful. a lot of shots and then Cotsworth steps in the way and you just end up shooting your companion. One well, of the few downsides of companions is they're really not particularly smart about that. They will walk right into your line of fire. If okay, there is another uh Forward. We're not looting everything. We might actually have to come back at some point to finish the looting, but... But we'll at least uh, get some useful loot out of this trip. nervous but I think this is the exit and we're exiting out of the front door after sneaking in the back door. There might be some danger in this. 
Alright, we'll find out. Sure, some would even call this clean. Here we go. See it first. And out we go. Possibly into a very dangerous uh, situation. Wasn't quite, uh, wasn't quite ready to take on that, uh, that kind of escape operation. Oh, for fuck's sake, I did it again. Okay, this time, I will not throw a fire. Yeah, I'm gonna try a better weapon for the situation. out. That means somebody will be paying me a visit shortly. Hope I'm ready. Yep, there we are. I'm, I'm just over my head here. Uh, I got this guy. This guy. Be back into the uh, stock, uh, stockpile because it's it's just not interesting watching endless retries of the same. Oops. Decide how these battles go with traps. God's word. Okay, he has restored himself. It's like they're not going to fall out. So sometimes when you go through doors. Uh, enemies will figure out where you are come after you. Sometimes they won't. Such disarray, I wouldn't know where to begin if I had to clean up this mess. Yeah, we definitely are wandering into areas that we're not really prepared for. Um, let's get some cans because some more metal is generally helpful. The raw material. And we're going to slip back out.
suspect part of it also just might be that with those, well, no, it's it's really that I don't have suitable armor. Since you saw how quickly I got killed. Anything else useful I can do here? No. Okay. Is there anything else on the map that I can mark down really quickly? I don't think so. So I think I should probably just return here. Well, if there's not people here yet. And so, yeah, I'll return to Red Rocket and drop off my loot there. Since although I think I'm ready to start sending tra uh, supply routes between my settlements, I really only have two. And I don't really want to spend people on that. And that one of the things I tend to do is send robots between settlements instead. But I do not yet have the means to make robots. Okay, so... very carefully making sure that we don't destroy anything that we care about. Okay, 19 damage, 18 damage. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can somehow make this. I think we're actually at our top for damage then for this type of weapon. not using this as a long distance weapon, so it doesn't make sense to get some of the nicer scopes on it. This is 45 damage if we bump that up to up at the next rank of gun nut. This makes sense to do. about right. Let's go all our stuff and we are ready for do we have time for another adventure today. Let's see, there's always the library, but I'm definitely not ready for that. I probably wasn't ready for the federal ration stockpile. But maybe I'll try approaching it from the overland uh, direction. Oh, right, it's just over there. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. Save and actually give this a try. Mines are not going to be super useful to us here because there's far less control over the directions that people can approach us with. But... I hit... I'll leave it. Got my aim is committed before. We've alerted them and they're probably coming at first. Okay, Cotsworth. I'm Cotsworth. Oh, still enough. Only a fucking coward time. On her. Somebody 
has our number. Totally missed there. Oh, that's fun. Power armor. Okay, well, except this could be our first bits of power armor, except it's all pretty heavy stuff, so not for it. Grab anything useful. Take anything good. Let's we'll grab all the power armor stuff. I dare say I am We're gonna try pressing forward again. Uh, did not work out too well. Inside the building with the turret was on top of. We've lost our height advantage, so we're gonna pull back a little bit to make it hard for people to run up to us. But if we manage, manage it right, we might be able to just be able to drop grenades down on or a molotov. If you've managed to score a hit, you probably should back off for a little bit. And because they've figured out where you are. Sweet. Where'd the little bitch go? Except Cotsworth, I think, has been knocked out. In some ways, open, open situations are harder because there's less cleverness you can bring to bear. But on the downside, a sufficiently aggressive uh, foe can just run right up, and your cleverness isn't going to be able to get enough legs to uh, turn the situation. moving until and, and try and pick off our, our foes. Survive. 
sweet. Just gonna push him forward. Grab a fusion core. I'm not gonna have a lot of use for initially, but eventually will be incredibly useful. whether this was actually a good place for the raiders to set up. I mean, clearly the answer could be just said to be no, because obviously I slipped in and did all this, but let's imagine, like, people with equal competence on either side of battles. Is this actually a good or a bad location? It's good in that we know it's good in that there are some nice supplies available. It's encouraged. And I imagine having supplies is one of the more important things. Oh, come on, don't tell me I've gotten stuck. Oh, really? But sometimes in Fallout, you actually get stuck in things. And fast traveling back to your current location is often the quickest way to get yourself ungunned. Which is maybe a secondary justification towards the system. Okay, more ammo. So I think we've actually cleared this place out. So yeah, having good access to supplies, that's pretty handy. And this should look familiar. So we died a few times before. But it's not particularly defensible in that there's a nice overlook up there. A series of overlooks, really, that are A, hard to get to, and B, places where somebody could easily slip up and scout out the entire place and actually start the attack. But I suppose that's probably true of, uh, of many... many uh, settlement locations. pretty much finished up here. And that would probably not be a bad time to end. Except, I again, I'm going to uh, do some work on Red Rocket. And I think, at least for this initial go, I'm probably not going to show it because it could be incredibly boring. But I will, uh, I will show it off afterwards. So that's it for this episode of my uh, Let's Play of Fallout uh, 4. We've made some pretty nice progress uh, in a lot of respects. We've cleared out an area. We have a lot more material to do stuff with the settlement. And hopefully with the next video, I'll show off what, I, uh, what I'm about to do. And from your perspective, I did do it. And uh, so that, that's it. I think I will actually maybe leave those cups there for now for my settlers. Um, take care, and you'll be seeing more of this in the next uh, next video. Bye.